Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix MS VCP 140.dll missing or not found in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this error message comes from Microsoft Visual C++ whenever you install or you try to open any kind of application. So this clearly indicate that this DLL file from the Visual C++ is missing from your Windows operating system. So the solution is that we just need to restore this file by downloading it from Google. All right, so this can be anything, even if you get any other kind of error message like msvcp 141145dll So you have to follow the same step. All right, so you need to come to your any of your favorite browser. And in the search box, you need to type the same error msvcp 140dll download. Now, if you have any other similar message, then you have to replace that 140 with that particular number. Then you have to hit enter. And then you have to open this first website from dllfile.com. And even I will leave the link in the description. You can copy uh, that URL from the description and paste into your browser to come directly to this website. Now, once you come here, you need to scroll down and you see your different type of architecture download options here. So here the, on the top is the 64 bit, then we have the 32 bit. So we need to download both of them. No matter you are using 64 bit operating system or 32 bit one, you need to download both this architecture. Okay, so you have to click on download for 64 bit first. And it says your download will start in few seconds. So just wait. So it has been downloaded. Now we will go back and download for the 32 bit as well. Click on download. This will be also downloaded. All right. So once downloaded, we will just move to the file explorer. And here we have both these files. OK, so now we will just rename it so that we should not get confused. So the first one that we downloaded was for 64 bit. So we will just make a right click on it and just rename it so that we should not get confused. Like 64 bit. And then we will rename the 32 bit one as well so that we can quickly identify. So now we have both the file and zip file. So we just need to extract it. So let me extract it first. Then let me extract the 32 bit one as well. All right. So now we have both the file here. So we will just drag and move to the desktop so that we can quickly proceed with the work. All right, now we can close this. So now here we have 64 bit one and the 32 bit one. Now what we have to do the file inside it, we just need to move this file to the right destination. OK, so what we will do, open the file explorer again from the left menu option. Click on local disk C or this PC, then local disk C. And then here you have to click on Windows, double click on Windows. And then you need to look for system 32. So keep scrolling down until you find system 32. So once you get it, open it. Now in the system 32, we just need to move the 64 bit downloaded file. OK, so what we can do, we can just keep both these folders side by side so that we can quickly work on it. Now we will open the 64 bit one. Move to the right hand side. Now here you will find msvcp140.dll file that is for the 64 bit. So you need to drag and move this file to this system 32. All right. But before moving, you need to scroll down to the very bottom and then you need to drag this file to this system 32. Okay. Just click on continue or replace the file in the destination, whichever option you get. Once it's been done, you can close the 64 bit folder. And now in the system 32, you have to go back and then you have to look for syswow64, this one, open it. And here we have to move the file, replace the file of 32 bit. OK, so now we can bring the 32 bit folder, double click on it. And here we have the msvcp140.dll file of 32 bit. So make keep in mind that 64 bit will be moved to system 32 folder and the 32 bit file will be moved to this wow 64 folder. All right. So once you come here, you have to again scroll down to the very bottom. Then you have to drag this file to this wow. Just give all the permission. 
and once it's been done you can close it now now after this what you need to make sure that you have the microsoft visual c plus plus properly installed on your computer so what you have to do click on your windows 10 or 11 search box type here appwiz.cpl hit enter program and feature box will be up now you can see i have microsoft visual c plus plus here so what you have to do you need to make a right click on it and then click on change now you have to click on repair click on yes and wait until the repair has been completed and now it will ask you to restart but we have to repair the second microsoft file as well so just come to the second one make a right click on it click on change again click on repair click on yes and again wait until the process has been completed and then finally you can restart now in case if you do not find the microsoft visual c plus plus over here then you will have to download it so again open your browser and in a new tab you have to open microsoft visual c plus plus you will be again getting this link in the description you have to come to this microsoft website and here you have to download both these files from x86 and x64 download it and then you have to install both of these microsoft visual c plus plus so once it's been installed finally you have to restart and i'm pretty sure that next time whenever you will try to launch any kind of application like i was trying to launch microsoft team your problem will be surely fixed so that's all guys hopefully this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye